Why does selectivity of radical halogenation matter? The answer is sometimes it doesn't. For instance, when you have a cyclic uh, substrate, all of the carbons are secondary. So it doesn't matter where the halogenation takes place because all of your products will be the same, a halocyclohexane. In this case, use chlorination. It's faster. If we're doing halogenation on propane, where we have a secondary carbon and two primary carbons, well, chlorination in this case will give us a 60-40 mixture of the secondary alkyl chloride versus the primary one. What if we wanted only the primary one? Should we use bromination? Bromination will give us more like 90% secondary and 10% primary. The best answer would be to use radical bromination and then do Elimination followed by substitution. So we would take our major product, the 2-bromopropane, and we do elimination by reacting it with a strong base, say, sodium methoxide. This would give us propene. And then we could do anti-Markovnikov hydrobromination using HBr and peroxide. to get exclusively the primary product. In terms of the stereochemistry of halogenation, if you think of your radical as being either planar or a rapidly inverting shallow pyramid, you can have reactions from either the top or the bottom. Hence, you will always get a racemic mixture if a chirality center is produced. Radical chlorination of butane yields R2-chlorobutane and S2-chlorobutane and 1-chlorobutane, which does not have a chirality center. Radical bromination of this molecule yields a pair of enantiomers with the chirality center formed. So there is no stereoselectivity in radical reactions.